Hi guys. I'm going to hit your arm, hang on. Right. It's just gone 12 midday, obviously, because it's daylight. Uh, it's Friday the 21st. And going from all the sort of music and noise coming from the high school, I'm guessing uh, this was the last week for most schools before the summer holidays, which I believe is still six weeks. Oh crap. I will be opening this in a little bit. I can't show you that side. <laughs> it's still got my address on it. Yeah, this arrived in the mail this morning. Uh, can I do some... I'll do something with that in a minute. Right. I'll have to stick here. Actually, let's stick you on the tripod now, because I will want you on the tripod. When it comes to ripping that open, that's the first radio I bought for £8 at the weekend, last weekend. I've got another three to arrive. But I uh, just want to show you in here, I've been very, very busy. Shelves have come down. I've nearly got all of this paint and I did cock up a little bit there, but I might just leave that because it's going to have uh, stuff sitting on it anyway. I've got to go over that shelf again with one more coat and do this leg and the front leg. Um, I'll go over this shelf again. because The light was is so shit up here I just couldn't see. It didn't help. And again, my uh, brush work is shit anyway, so... <laughs> but at least it all matches that. I think I'm done with. Uh, bloody fluff, dust and cat hair that's getting everywhere, look. Sticking to it like fucking static or something. Anyway, I think that's a bit... Yeah, that bit just reattaches really easy to that end, so... I didn't make this very straight, did I? Because that end bit is on the piss. Oh well, it does its job. Um, it's going to be next weekend that uh, we actually start painting. So I've still got a week to go. I've got all this to do. Uh, I'm going to need some more filler, I think. I'm nearly at the bottom of that pot and it's actually uh, getting really awkward to get the stuff out of there. Um, I don't know whether to cut what I'm using as a spatula sort of thing, spreader, uh, into a thinner strip because I'm just using an old uh, plastic uh, card from one of my old BT routers. Um, that no longer exists so that's why I'm using the card because it's just got all the uh, Wi-Fi details on it, which doesn't matter because, like I said, the actual device doesn't exist anymore. See, this is all sitting on a skew if, but uh, it's all solid, so I don't know. Maybe it's just my shit craftsman's sh craftsmanship. I actually have to say it's shit, but like I said, it does the job. I built it to do a job, not to look pretty. If I stand on that once more, so. Today's job, I think, I'm going to have to try and find a home for as much of this crap down here as possible. Um, there's a lot of my lamps have gone in the outside cupboard, that's what I'm going to do with those. But uh, I'm going to do this paint job first, so that can be drying. Uh, if I can do that, then I could perhaps... Oh no, I left that bit deliberately. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I don't know if I need to, I need to get some light on really, don't I? I don't think I need to do another coat on this top section, I think it's enough. Because um, then I'll find something just to cover that end. Because I don't want dust getting on it, I've done that once before and it's a pain in the ass. And then I can just start rubbing down 
of this wall. Get those sticky back clips off. Uh, if I get time, I'm going to zip across to QDs and get some boxes so I can put those games in. Got a computer in the doorway there. Right, oh. Uh, shit. <laughs> I want my, um, my orange Stanley knife and I now have no friggin' idea where it is. Oh, that's the other thing I want to do as well before the wall gets painted, so I'll do that during the week, is to put another double socket in down here. I don't think I really need it, but I'd rather have one there anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. What I've got, I've bought a brand new box for a single outlet. I don't know I've got a single outlet. It's currently in a box buried in the outside cupboard. Because I've got this double one here. Don't need that double one there. So I'm going to swap that for a single and put that double in the bedroom. No. Um, what I could do, just to save digging around in that outside closet, is see if there's one in the workshop over at Mum's. My stepdad might have one in his books of bits over there. Uh, yeah. Although I could do with some rearranging in that outside closet, so I might do that. We'll see. First, I'm going to need a sharp implement. I've got a sharp implement, so I'm just going to set you up here. Hopefully you're at a good enough height. If not, I can raise you, raise you rather. Get some light on the subject. Move the keyboard. Not a minute. Right. I don't mind giving away the town I live in, but not my full address, so actually there's only two of my viewers that actually know my address. <laughs> so there we go. Mind you, I suppose I could have opened it this way, couldn't I? But at least it's off and out of the way. And like I said, I bought this radio as spares or repairs last weekend. Fact, I put some of this in to take up the extra room. Box is a little bit big. I think I'd have, if it was me packing, I would have um, cut down there, cut that much off, and then just took this side. Just sort of box fit in this. That would have also reduced the weight as well. Because uh, when you add packaging like this, it obviously adds to the weight, so. Mind you, I think the radio itself could have been wrapped in bubble wrap, but I'm not going to complain too much. Like I said, I bought it as spares repairs. Oh, actually, I wasn't expecting that. It's, uh, <laughs> I've never seen anything wrapped like that before. Ooh. It's got a rattle. This, this fabric feels really, really weird. Here we go, here's my little Roberts one that I bought. Um, the radio apparently works, the radio itself. But the tape deck, usual story, doesn't. Um, it's a Roberts RC15, and it's got RC15 there. So I've got the number on the back. That just says Roberts RC15 on the back. It's in pretty good condition overall. Someone has stuck uh, some tape on here from the looks of it to mark stations. Just bring it a bit. There you go. 
Yeah, something they've stuck on there, obviously to mark the station so they can just, you know, instantly turn the dial and go straight there. That seems to be working fine. And the pause button depressed for some reason. Got tone control. Volume. I like these little switches, they're nice. I don't know, they just look nice as well. So that's radio. I don't know what the middle one is. It's got a middle position, unless that is. Unless again, it's got tape power off. Radio, position two, position one. I'm, that's got me baffled. <laughs> it's got three bands VHF, MW, LW. Tape controls. What's that? Let's play. Rewind, fast forward, stop eject. Let's record. Let's pause. I don't know what. I don't know if these. Um, yeah, these stickers aren't original. I might try and um, peel those off. It's like a red flower, green flower sort of thing. What else we got? AUX AUX in, auxiliary in, power and earphone. Anything on the other end? No. Just the tuning dial. This has actually got a tape counter as well. My JVC and the other one hasn't. Now, don't know what's wrong with the tape deck. It just says it doesn't work. Let's just have a look at the battery compartment. Nice and clean, no corrosion, there's some dirt on this one, but I think, or it could just be the poor light, could be just like the poor light. But, uh, cosmetically, there is something wrapped around in there, which is a little uh, unsettling. Don't think I've got a figure eight cable at hand though. I do actually have a tape that I can use to test. There was something written on these stickers as well, but they that's uh that's all faded. They're gonna be a bugger to peel off, and apparently WD40 works pretty well, so do 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 mic. Oh, it's got a built-in microphone. A lot of these seem to have that. Is that so it could sort of double up as like an, um, a dictaphone type thing, you know, so you can dictate to yourself. Instead of having a separate um, device, you could be in the office and have that perhaps sat there and then you can just actually got to have the tape in there for record to work. Here's a question for radio um, experts. Why is it a lot of them seem to have a coloured square in the middle there? There's a lot of tape decks that seem to have that, especially these ones with the clear front. I was just wondering, is it just there for like aesthetic looks, maybe? Is there any specific reason? I might ask that same question on um, the transistor radio group because I will take a photo of this and put it on there. But I don't get the function. I don't get why the radio's got position one and two. So you've got a little LED in here to tell you when you're recording as well as power. Ugh. Okay, that's going to need a good clean along that edge. There's something really sticky and horrible along there. And that's just on the edge there.
Oh, my big head might have gotten in the way then. Right, I'm just trying to think, is there anything I need in town? No, I think I'm just going to go and rinse my brush off and... Uh, Um, get that bench or what's left on the bench painted uh, I can't do legs yet uh, it needs four extra legs in the middle now that sticks out far doesn't it <laughs> I think I need to go on a diet it's probably not a bad thing or a bad idea I should say go on a diet Right. Um, and a friend has just shared my video. What video did I share that he shared? <laughs> I can never remember. Right. Painting first. I'll get that done. I'll try and get some more room cleared in that bedroom. And I'll report back later. I've been busy. I've worked up a sweat. I'll just show you this first. Ooh, I've got it all clear. Well, I've cleared this area and I've boxed up all the railway track. Like I said, I'm not building anything on this at the minute, so I thought it's got to be cleared at some point anyway. Might as well do it now because I've got a few bulky items like there's three computers. I've got that TV in here, the other two are sitting over here already I think it's, it's either three or four computers I can't remember four computers um, and whatever other bulky bits I want to lay on here out of the way as I'm doing the bedroom first and then of course all the stuff I stack on here will go back in the bedroom when the bedroom is done um, so I'm at actually what I'm hoping is that maybe the first weekend we could get like the bedroom hallway maybe even the bathroom done um, and then perhaps the next weekend bedroom bedroom lounge and um, kitchen so I've still got a fair bit of sanding to do I think I've now I've got a bit there to do bit more there because I went over those so I'm gonna sit you in the lounge how are we doing We're nearly dry it's dry to the touch but apparently it takes 16 hours to dry mm, I ain't got nowhere to put that what have I got? oh I've got the computer monitor as well well it might even be five computers I may have miscalculated what have I got one two three four so there's one under the keyboard five yeah and a monitor and I'll take that VCR through there as well that can stand I'm not going to put that on the table though because it's too freaking heavy and that's all I really want to do for now is just clear these bulky items out of the way the rest of the small stuff I could get a box for and box that up later uh, which reminds me before I continue doing that I've got to, to pack a couple of items up What's the time? How long have I got? Oh, I've got plenty of time. I'm going to go and get those uh, bulky items. So I'm just going to leave you up here. So you can just uh, watch me go back and forth. You can watch a fat man do some work. <laughs> I'm going to start with this one by the bedroom doors. It's closest and in the way. fussed about putting scratches in this table because it's not going to be seen anyway because it's going to be full of road plates and other plates and things so I'll give the monkeys if I scratch it Deeper. We're not 
I'll just hurry. Let's move that. It's not going to go in that gap, is it? It is now. <laughs> Back I go. One Mitsubishi VCR. I do have one VCR spare. No, no tape in it. I couldn't remember if I left one in there or not. We'll read that in a minute. The current's busy. I'm going to stand these in here because they need to be kept upright. Because the uh, the fuel tanks in them are actually full. So if they fall over, I have lots of fuel everywhere. I don't particularly want that. Right. I'm getting there. more PC bits coming. The um, My guy contacted me today. Was I interested in them or? Uh, I'm always interested in them. <laughs> so he just said he's going to um, sort them out and get back to me. So it could be today, it could be tomorrow, who knows. PCs to go. Yeah, I don't know why he's going to get in touch with me. I said he'll get in touch when they're all sorted. This one actually isn't too bad. It's quite light. I'm sort of thinking, do I want to put any more weight on that table? Yeah. If it breaks, I'll just fix it. It's not back bowing or anything, not yet, so... The weight is spread quite evenly, so... Five computers, didn't I? I lied. It's six. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, I'm gonna have to go in front of one of these. I think. Uh, one more.
get this out of the way first. Just one computer and I think just the radio. fair bit to sort out in there but no boxes and uh, like I said I've got some items I need to post and some papers up here I need to find where do I minimize that where do I minimize <sighs> need that from eBay I'm also gonna need to remember where I put my ticket stubs. Oh, that's a ticket. Those are my tickets. They thought I'd play the uh, East Anglian Air Ambulance Raffle. Ooh. Bang, 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 bang. But somewhere, I've got the rest of the stubs that I need to mail back to the ambulance HQ I can't bloody well, find the damn things at the moment. I've got a funny feeling I'm probably looking in totally the wrong place. They this side of you. Oh, they are indeed. Ah, great. So I'll put these in. In an envelope and get these in. They've got to be posted back 25th, so I'll get a first class. I've got to include the um, postal order, which I'll do when I get. That one didn't rip off properly, but I'm going to put it in with the stubs so they don't think one's missing. Alright. Got another new message. That shouldn't be a new message then, I've read that one. Oh, he sent the same message twice for some message. The same message. He's posted the same message twice. Yes, I'm not going to post it, I'm not going to mark it as posted. Shaped, posted. Yeah, posted. Uh, total brain fart. Then I couldn't remember. Posted was actually a word. <laughs> oh, Deary me. So obviously I can't show addresses. I just need to nail these poxy tickets down. <laughs> View all the details. Right, I'm gonna find a box. I need to find an adequate box, I'll be right back. Might have to 
to just cut this one down. It's going to be a little on the tall side. But, yeah, I'll go in. It's just miles too big. Right, I'll shut you down. I'm not going to bore you with this. I'm sure you don't want to watch someone uh, pack up items. Oh, bloody hell, now my own tickets are going everywhere. Oh, I've got the fan on high, that's why. Um, what have I got? Ah. I want that, I want the keyboard out of the way. I've got a little pair of scissors here, that should do. I've lost the big pair again. Oh. Always losing the big pair of scissors. Right, anyway. Oh, hang on. Nope, I'll find a larger pair here. Right, I'll talk to you later. They're cleared. I'm going to take you back a little bit. There we go. That's just my imagination. I thought this was just one shelf. It's not. It's two. It's my fat head is getting in the way. Right. I have been to QDs and got a few bits. Another pot. Wouldn't hurt to have another pot in stock. And uh, I've got all them holes. And this one is actually getting rather awkward to get into. So... I've got another one. And while I was there, I got myself a flashlight. Two ninety nine, one watt LED. And uh, there was one that someone had taken this. The um, because if you look in there, it does come with two batteries for two ninety nine as well. But there's like a little uh, paper disc. What batteries have we got in here? Crap, basically. <laughs> I think I'm going to change them and put my uh, JCB ones in there. In theory, once I take that off, put that back on. That is that. I'm not going to put it directly at that because it is quite bright. And, uh,. One of these that had the paper disc removed so it worked, I was playing with in the store and uh, I do shoot a, this beam actually quite a long distance. But I just wanted something a little bit more, you know, portable. I mean, I've got my big blue lantern ones, which works absolutely fine. I just wanted something a bit more portable because I'm sick and tired of always... I've got all these torches. I can still never find one when I want one. Anyway, the next job is not to take the shelves down. <coughs> I will be, but not quite yet. I just thought I'd put the camera on for this bit. Um, as I'm rapidly running out of... Well, I've run out of boxes, so I'm just going to put these last few PS1 games in here. In fact, I'm going to eventually put these PS1 games in the cupboard in the lounge. I've got a drawer full there that I'm about to empty. No, actually I'll empty that later. I know it's going to be a pain, but they'll be stored out of the way at least. It'll be a pain when it comes to uh, moving them. Oh, I've got some more here. I've got some more here as well. Shame I couldn't find some proper PS1 cases because we've got some here that don't have ga um, cases. Gases? The hell did gases come from? Right. That to try and get stickers off of uh, the radio. Apparently it's just good stuff to get stickers off with. Just leave that to soak for five minutes. Eventually the stereo will go in the lounge as well, but not yet. Because uh, I'm going to move this stereo. When, well, it's not going back in this place anyway. 
It really is getting echoey in here, and I hate it. I actually hate the fact that I've had to dismantle my bedroom because it doesn't feel like my bedroom at the minute. And yes, for those that are wondering if this is actually affecting my autism, yes it is, it's driving me absolutely nuts. <laughs> but it can't be helped. I want it decorated so I've got to dismantle it. I have to drill in the right direction, that might help. That ain't good when the screw spins around in the wall. I've got a funny feeling. That one's alright. I've actually got a screw missing on that one as well. That's also quite scary. Um, I'll have to get the shelf brackets I need next payday. And I thought that did, I took the plug out with it, look. <laughs> I, do, well, I was going to say I hate it when they do that, I actually don't hate it when they do that. Because that means I haven't got to do... There's even a plug in that one. And what was that for? I'm going to screw hold there and there, and I can't remember what those are for. Right. Let's try and screw that in there and see if I can... Yeah, that came out rather easy. It's only, um... Not cinder block, breeze block. Behind that wall, it's just a breeze... A breeze block wall. What's <laughs> the bet? And I'll drop another screw down there. I've got a pair of pliers somewhere, but I don't know where I've put them. Get out of there, you son of a bitch. You always get one that grip. Yep, not that one. Lay that one there. Is that a Phillips? That is a Phillips. You have to get my um, pipe grips on that one. I think they're going to be a bastard to get out of there. Right, let's get the second one down. It's another one that just spun in the wall. If I put these wooden shelves back up in like the other room or the outside cupboard, I think I'll uh, use longer screws. Found another harvest spider. Fall off. Here's a question for my viewers down in London. Are spiders a problem down there? The only reason I ask is because where I am. There's a lot of countryside, so there's a lot of, you know, spiders and bugs, they come in from the fields. Even more so when um, harvesting is going on. So I was just wondering if, um, you know, I've never lived in a big sea, so I am genuinely curious. If 
spiders like harvest spiders or even the big brown house spiders are uh, common inside in the big cities. Any big city. If you live in a big city, uh, let me know. I think the plaster is pretty much knackered in this place. Because it is a... Uh, it is getting quick flicky. Right. Yeah, I could reuse all these plugs, but no point. We've got loads. My stepdad's got freaking loads as well. Right. This is going to be fun. Let's get that in there. Tell me. Tell me I'm going to need a wider screw. <sighs> ah! What if I can do it with this? Is that going to work? It is. Oh shit. That's a little bit of plaster and uh, paint. One more. Screws are reusable, I can reuse those. And I've got six, twelve. 14, too many holes. <laughs> Pardon me. Right. I do believe, at least in this room, these are the last holes to fill, and then I'll just go around and sand it. Uh, I'm going to have to take my light off the wall over there, but I'm not going to do that right now, because I still use it. But uh, when everything goes back in here, it's going to be done properly. Not so it looks like, you know, it's just been thrown together. Uh, why hasn't this got a power supply plugged in it? Should have a power lead plugged into that, and it hasn't got one for some reason. Has it fallen out and gone down the back? Yeah, this whole corner is where all my consoles and whatnot are going. To Pete, I couldn't get these older ones to work on that, but I've tried like the PS1 and the PS2 on flat screens, and they don't seem to. I like it, not these big ones anyway. I don't know if there's a particular reason for that, but they didn't like it. Stop spinning around in the friggin' hole. masks somewhere so sanding down is not going to be a problem. Um, Sunday, Sunday morning I should have some um, computer stuff. Don't ask me what, I ain't got a clue. I don't know how much is going to be delivered, I don't know when he wants payment. I have got some cash so if he wants like a little deposit or something I can I walk through a bloody cobweb. I can sort that out, it's not a problem. Or if he's okay waiting until I next get paid, uh, he knows I'll drop money off. That's why I don't like to, uh, you know, keep him waiting too long. Every time I've uh, 
agreed to have something and agreed to like pay on such and such day. Although last time I was a couple of days late because I actually forgot. <laughs> Until he messaged me on Facebook asking if I'd dropped it off at his parents and I was like, oops. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I did drop it off. But you see, if you're nice to people like him, he'll be nice to you. You know, and he'll do favours for you. That's, that's how I work and that's how I see it. You know, so I know that he doesn't mind like dropping the stuff off and then let me pay like a week later or something. That's nice, so you know, he always gives me first dibs on things like that, so I can't complain, can I? I don't really need any more computer stuff, not cases, I don't think. Parts. Definitely not cables. <laughs> I've still got shitloads of power cables. Oh, we don't want that dust going into the machine. I better crack that pot open, I suppose. Do I use up what's in the old one? I suppose I better use what's in this. It is, look, it's becoming such a pain to get that out of there. I'm going to move you a bit closer though while I do this. This might be a bit of a long video, but as I'm doing something, I'm sure you folks won't mind. How can I get that bastard out of there? So you either get too much or not enough on my uh, card here. So I've got too much on it at the minute. I'll try and scrape some off and then the whole friggin' lot falls off. So I don't need these holes anymore as I'm uh, relocating all the shelving anyway. I'm going to re well, not, not relocating it as such, just reconfiguring it on this wall. But of course, it's all going to be painted, and I don't want a wall full of bloody holes, do I? For those that don't know, this big old CRTV, CRT TV is a... Uh, that was a freebie. I actually found it down by some um, bins. Literally a stone's throw from here. Someone had left it there. Bin men wouldn't take it, so I don't know why they'd left it there. Fly tipped, maybe, but like I said, the bin men wouldn't take it. <laughs> well, I guarantee if I hadn't, someone else would have come along. I'm often seeing things left by those specific bins, and it's usually not there for long before someone takes it. <laughs> Um, I think there's a blind, you know, a window blind there. Uh, well, it was there this morning and it's not there now. You know, I love being on the local... You know, local town Facebook groups and whatnot, but I always get told I'm always being too negative, but maybe I am, and I just don't see it, but what actually irks me is not the fact they're saying I'm, or the same people are saying I'm uh, always negative, because there's always the same handful of people, actually, the same couple of people. It's that when I do post something positive, they totally ignore it. That's the bit that hurts me, you know. Which kind of makes me feel, you know, is there any bloody point in me posting anything positive? 
I mean, I did it on the um, North Walsham Towns Archive group. I think I'm on three different groups. There's the Town Council group. Uh, there's the Regenerate group. Which ever since the founder of Regenerate North Walsham gave it up, it hasn't been the same. And some people have said it's been going downhill. And I actually have to agree, but... I still like going on there, I still like discussing, you know. But uh, I just wish those that are saying I'm always negative pay attention to what I actually post. That weren't a hole, that was just a dent, but I thought I might as well do that as well. Eh, all I've got to do now is uh, get rid of that phone extension and I'm just going to cut it out. Because I don't plan on use it, using it. Where is it? There it is. I've got my cutters on the floor. I can't believe I've nearly used a pot <laughs> of this stuff. Well, I saw a pot, like I said, it was only filled up to about... Here, somewhere. It wasn't even a full, full pot. But, uh, I've noticed they've got rid of the 99p price tag now. It's, now it's uh, 129 but still cheaper than anywhere else in town. It does exactly the same thing and works just as well. That's why I don't get it. But these other brands, you know, like three, four, five pounds for a tub similar to that or something a bit bigger. And it does this, it does exactly the same thing. I just, to me, it's just totally ridiculous. It's probably the exact same stuff in the pot, and they've just, you know, changed the bloody name. Oh, shite. Don't know, but I might have to go and get my ladder. I think I'll just cut through that, and I think it's still plugged in in the lounge. Let me just, uh, Go check. I don't think it would have caused any issues, but no. Unplug now. Now I saw my plaz. Where did I see them? I'm sure they were over here, behind you guys. Cause. Uh, I just got a handful of uh, clips to yank. If I can get hold of them. Well, I couldn't reuse that one even if I wanted to. Is that a hole? Is that a... No. Did I? Oh no, I haven't. I've got some holes over there to fill in. Oops. Those. That one's already broken. Don't know where my uh, ordinary pliers have disappeared to. I've got a nice red handled pair and I can't find them at the minute. That's the last one I can go in the bin. Filler, I'll just put the filler away. I'm going to need that, aren't I? I can actually go round and get it all done. It can all dry, then I'll spend the day tomorrow sounding in here. And then by next week, another one there and there, and probably some behind here. Yeah, this time next week, actually, no, not this time next week. This time plus one day next week. We'll, uh, we'll be a painting. I friggin' hope. That's what I like about these little nail holes. They, they take next to no filler just to fill them over. Unless you scrape it out like I just did. Because <laughs> you're a bit of a dick. Right. Before I do that, 
corner I'll have to move that stereo but I'm going to turn you around because I've got that wall to do if I can get up there if I can get up here Spider is what that was. Uh, I don't know where these little holes came from, but there's a, a few of them. Full of film while I'm at it. Oh, yes, that's what I've got to as well. Just uh, rotate. I'm going to be in the doorway now. I'm going to see if I can get these uh, hinge areas. I can do and it's, I'm glad I got the extra tub now because this is nearly out and I've still got a few little bits there were some dents on that wall and the fuck I got dents in that wall but I've got my rag in here is it in here yes it is in here if we can reach oh I'm knackered Ooh, a rag that smells like Brush cleaner. Uh, pardon me. Wow. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is quite scary. I'll be. Oh, my memory card's nearly full. 
I must have done a lot of recording this time, so it's going to be a long video. So, I'm going to take these three minutes I've got left just to say thanks for watching and uh, hope you like this video and the uh, renovation work I'm doing in here. The brunt of it on my own. <laughs> so, uh, stay tuned for more videos like this. It's what it's going to be like for the next few weeks. So, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.